Welcome the great David Berkowitz. Congratulations. Thank you very much. I'm a little nervous up here. Larry and my wife, more importantly, have told me that I can't be my normal sarcastic, obnoxious, and they they used about 20 or 30 other words. So, so I have to be nice. So the good news is that means I'm going to be short because <laughs> I don't really know how to be nice too well. Larry had a lot of complaints. Those were compliments. <laughs> Did you see how Zia introduced Roy? It's nothing but nice things. You could learn a little from Zia. Did you, you bring a bottle of champagne for your opponents? <laughs> I didn't know this was a give and take. You said you had... All right, here, Carl. I said, All right. As a matter of fact, I, I am looking forward to... In about 10 years, if the voters have their way, and I'll, I'll be voting for you, I hope that I'm standing up here in 10 years to say all the nasty things <laughs> I really want to say about you that I can't say now. Okay? I really have a lot of things I'd like to say. But in 10 years, I'll, I'll, I, I, I'm going to start writing okay. down. This is about you tonight. Go ahead. This is about you. <laughs> I can tell you about our partnership. I'll give you one little quick thing about our partnership. When we started many years ago, we played and we did very well, and then he didn't talk to me for a year or two. We played again, he didn't talk to me for two more years. I said, what happened? He said, well, you yelled at me. I said, huh? He said, you, you yelled at me. I said, I didn't yell at you. He says, well, you raised your arms, you did this, you did that, you, did, you yelled at me. I said, oh, I'm sorry. He says, that's not good enough. If you're going to play with me, you can only yell at me once every six months. The second time, we're done. Okay? So, now it's 20 years later, we've done pretty well. And I say, by the way, Larry, have I yelled in 20 years? And he said, no, you've been fine. I said, good, I'm owed 40 yells. <laughs> at which point he says, if you don't use them, you lose them. <laughs> and I said, no, I'm out 40 else, so he quit bridge. <laughs> I don't understand how it works, but he's not playing anymore, and now I have, well, you know what I have. <laughs> I look around the room, there are so many people I play with, I used to play with, I like to say hi to everybody. I've driven many of them out of bridge, some of them are just now coming back. <laughs> That's <laughs> Jeff. That's you, Jeff. Jeff. Yeah, Jeff's back. There are quite a few others. My wife and I haven't played in 10 years. Well. I, I, I like to thank all my, my wives, my three wives. I have my, my bridge wife was Larry, who would tell me, we're going here, here's your plane ticket, here's your room, try to show up at the airport at 10 o'clock, I'll pick you up. Okay, Larry would take care of that. And uh, my golf wife, which is Mike Becker. Thank you, Mike. I get an email every few days. Mike, yes, we're playing at Stonebridge Country Club, 10 o'clock. Be there. This is your foursome. These are how many strokes you're getting, how many you're giving. And please try not to win too much money, because as we all know, golf is the only thing in life more important than bridge. Right, Gary? Uh, I can't talk about Gary, sorry. And there's my, my real wife. Who is in charge of packing, as she says. <laughs> okay? She she loves to pack. I can't help it. She's like, you know, okay, I'll pack. Honey, the tournament isn't for two weeks. I'll pack. <laughs> okay, at any rate, and I, I also like to thank all of the people who have played on teams with me. I mean, I think there isn't anybody here who hasn't almost, who hasn't played on a team. Uh, I'm really happy to be here. And I know we're running a little short, Mike, so cool. I'm cool. <laughs> well, I could tell some more Larry stories. No, no, no. <laughs> just one, just one. I, I could tell, I, I was sworn, ever since my kids started playing bridge, there would be a million great stories about them learning to play bridge. And I was told that if I told any of those stories, 
I'd be killed. <laughs> so I can't tell those stories. I can't tell any Lisa stories. I have to be nice. So I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll find out later if I was nice enough. <laughs> Thank you very much. For Come out. I'd like to, uh, anyone who's won a national championship.